When I was first introduced to the world of essential oils in 1998, Blue Lotus was one of my first introductions. The Blue Lotus I had smelled was completely synthesized in a laboratory, and I was devastated to know that it wasn't pure. And everything in the market is synthetic. Nothing has been pure. I just came to the conclusion that there was no pure Blue Lotus on the planet. So our sourcing team searched the world over, and guess where they found it? So we're here in Guangdong province in China. There was nothing on this land before, but we actually digged ponds and uh, bringing water from the mountain, we were able to then grow those beautiful flowers and create jobs for the farming community. To see these beautiful blossoms coming up and out of these ponds and to see the women out there harvesting these flowers, it was an emotional moment. So they're explaining to us that they're picking up no snails in the ponds um, to make sure they don't eat the leaves. They're doing some harvesting as well. They're just very happy to be doing this kind of work. <laughs> <laughs> this ecosystem is very, very delicate because this is a completely natural process. There are no chemicals used at all whatsoever. So this is a daily thing where the snails and the eggs have to be removed from the, from the lotus. They are very grateful because otherwise they'd be working in an animal factory, whereas here they work with a beautiful flower that smells very nice. So for them, it makes them really, really happy. This is Mr. Glow, and he is my new hero. This man had been growing Blue Lotus and selling it to the flower market. And we said, can you grow more? He said, yes. Yes, 